There are people all across America who have the tools and ideas to get businesses off the ground and change the world. And we want to be a conduit to support those entrepreneurs and help them achieve their dreams. My name is Derek Brazil. I am from Cincinnati, Ohio, and I am an Obama Foundation Fellow. I was inspired to start Mortar because I recognized that there are people all across Cincinnati and all across the country with great ideas who aren't connected to the tools and resources that they need to start and grow businesses. The way Mortar works is we offer education to help an entrepreneur learn the nuances of starting and running a business. We have our pop-up spaces called Brick, and those spaces offer entrepreneurs a chance to test their ideas in real time in brick and mortar locations. We offer access to capital through low interest loans and business grants. And then finally, we offer 18 months of alumni support to help those entrepreneurs at any stage in their business to give them coaching and other business support services. In 2014, Mortar launched our first class with about 15 participants. Since then, we have completed 17 cohorts with 225 entrepreneurs, and those entrepreneurs have had a 90% success rate. I went through the Mortar class about four years ago, and it, it changed my life. They are the middleman for entrepreneurs like myself who can't go directly to some of the people we need to take our business to the next level. There's a lot of African American community here in Cincinnati. So Mortar has been key in just bringing us together because we're stronger in numbers than we are by ourselves. The opportunity to be chosen as an Obama Fellow is a highlight of not just my life, but I think in the trajectory of Mortar as an organization. The fact that the Obama Foundation recognizes the impact that we're making, I think gives us that validation, that support, the access to new resources that otherwise may not have been available. My hope is that we can start to change the culture of entrepreneurship in this country and we can begin to redistribute opportunities and resources to historically marginalized entrepreneurs, giving them all a chance to participate in the American dream.